Hi Taurus, I'm so happy you're here. I'm excited to do your reading this morning to check your energy. Um, you guys write the time down that you're watching this reading in the comment section. Thank you so much for doing that. You can pull up, pick up your energy, see who you are. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? Taurus. Let's see what's, what is to come, Taurus. What does Taurus need to see? All right, Taurus, the first card you got is the Ace of Cups, someone new. And then you have the Chariot Cancer energy, someone new showing up here. Or a new emotional state of being. The Chariot is the fastest moving energy in the Tarot deck, and this is coming at you fast. Wow, Taurus, you got the Four of Wands next. If you're not feeling really, really good in an emotional state right now, that is about ready to change. I'm telling you that right now. Then you have the Devil Capricorn energy showing up here. And that is not a bad card. You have the Page of Pentacles in the center of your reading. And the Knight of Swords. And then you have the Six of Swords. And Strength Leo Energy. The Emperor Aries Energy. And the Fool. And the Lovers Gemini Energy. The Fool is Aries Energy. You guys are about ready to be falling in love okay the fool a new journey and you have the lovers okay so let's see what this is talking about oh. you are looking really really good right now taurus you have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck Regardless of what gender you are, you're really drawing people's attention. Um, people are looking at you. I'm not sure if you're noticing or not, but people are seeing you. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know right now? Something new is in the makings for you. This is an ace as your very first card. An ace of cups. A new emotional way of being. Like your cup is flowing over here. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here, Spirits. The Six of Cups. This could be someone that you already know for some of you guys. And then you have the Five of Wands. For some of you guys, this is a past energy. You have the High Priestess here, Pisces energy. That's not for all of you guys, though. That, that energy with the Six of Cups, for someone watching me right now, it's definitely a past person. But this is a soul connection. So regardless, this could be past life connection. But there, there is someone here showing up that is coming in very, very strong in your energy today, Taurus. So get ready to meet someone new. This person's, if, if, um, this is someone that has recently come into your life with the high priestess energy they're not really revealing themselves. They want you to notice them, but they're they're holding back. They're they don't want you to know their feelings, the feelings that they have for you. So this very well could be someone that that you already know and um you're noticing them, recognizing them and they want you to notice them. Okay? Tell me why the chariot is here. Why is the chariot here? See, look, the ace of wands. 
This energy is coming towards you guys quick. Get ready for it. You have the Seven of Wands and you have the Ten of Swords here. Why? Why are you resisting this energy? It's almost like... Um, It's almost like you're like you're on the ground here with the Ten of Swords energy. Um, you're in some type of pain and you're pushing back. It's like you're fighting a fight. And then you have the Ace of Wands showing up next to it. Like, like someone new coming in. Whether this new energy is showing up new because this this could be a situation with you and someone else where it ended painfully, it, it's completely overdone and it's showing up in a whole new way or this is a new soul connection showing up in your energy. But either way, this is leading to something beautiful. You have the Four of Wands next. So I see a beautiful conversation, an exciting conversation. Look at on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Cups. A conversation that makes you feel emotionally so good and fulfilled. It takes your worries away about being in a state here where you're you're shutting people out. You're closed closed up. You feel like you've hit rock bottom. And boom, this new energy is coming into your life. And a, like this is a great four of wands, 11-11. Um, the horse is riding in here, Taurus. You have the three of wands. The magician. Yeah, this person is manifesting you. The Three of Wands can always be someone who's here at a distance from you, but it, it's also telling you there's someone here manifesting you, waiting for you. It's like they've arrived. They're there at the crossroads. There's the horse of the chariot showing up there, and they're at the crossroads here. Where is Taurus at? They're trying to make this happen. Why is the devil here? The problem is, is with the devil is I feel like, um, I feel like there's someone else here in your energy that you're kind of stuck on. Yeah, it's very, very difficult for you. You have strength here and you're in, inside of the Wheel of Fortune energy where you have someone who's very inconsistent, someone who may have addictions or a toxic energy here where you just keep going around and around and around with this person and you're not getting anywhere with this person. The next card you have is the Page of Pentacles. All right, so there's some type of karmic situation here in your life where it's toxic. The devil is showing up there, but the devil is showing up in your energy like you like you are so attached to this energy, this person even though it keeps going around and around as a struggle. Tell me why, and it, oh my gosh, look at the bottom of the deck, the devil, the devil and the death card, the walk with the devil, the walk in this connection is over, it's coming to an end, there is someone new here, the page of swords that is looking at you, and judgment is here, and you guys may be saying, Jennifer, I don't want anyone new. I am stuck on this, this one energy. I'm in love with this one person. And tell me what's wrong with this one person. What is the struggle here? Why is strength here? 
And why is this new energy showing up here? I haven't seen this for you guys. The very first card you have is the Ace of Cups. There's someone brand new showing up in your life. And it's almost like the universe is sending this person in, in to get you off of some type of car karmic wheel. Whether this comes in as, you know, love right away. It, it's, it's leading to a new walk with someone else. Someone that is going to be very significant in your life. The King of Wands is showing up, you know, right here. With strength and the Wheel of Fortune, the Karmic Wheel. And you show up as the Queen of Wands. And do not pay too much attention to the genders. But you and someone else are on a Karmic Wheel together. And you don't, you're, you're not even looking at them or noticing them right now. The Four of Cups. There's the Ace of Cups showing up again. New love. Something that is going to turn into new love. And with the Six of Swords here, um, this is going to be one of those situations where you don't really notice someone, you know, in a certain way at first. But once, once this energy has been around you, it becomes... Um, the love of your life. Like you fall, completely fall for this person. The center card here is the Page of Pentacles. And on the Page of Pentacles, this person is holding a camera in their hand. And I don't know the significance of that. Other than... Um, it seems foggy here with all of the stars in front of the photograph. You have the devil and you have the hanged man energy here. And I do see you here with the devil and the hanged man. The devil is Capricorn energy. The hanged man is Pisces energy. This walk with the devil, it has not been easy. This devil energy, a toxic energy. Sometimes, you know, the devil isn't always a bad energy. But in this karmic wheel type of situation I'm seeing in it, it's not, it's not a good energy. Okay. And with the hanged man here. It's been an uncomfortable position for you to be in with this person. And I see here that you're kind of distancing yourself from them emotionally. You don't feel happy. You're, you're actually trying to get out of it, but then it pulls you back in again. But you have a, a messenger showing up here as the Knight of Swords is your next card. So there's a new energy coming towards you very, very quickly. Two of Swords, the Tower, and the Eight of Swords. This is crazy, Taurus. But see, there, there's a messenger here. You, Your head is completely thinking repeatedly about something here that is over with the tower. And you're very closed off and trying to make a decision... And probably having a hard time sleeping with the Nine of Swords. Like, like you're having a hard time sleeping. But there's an energy outside of all of the darkness here that is reaching its hand into the tower. And, and trying to show you the light. Trying to guide you out of the tower. The tower that I see here... Is a very, very dark place. I see you roaming through the tower. You may not realize you're doing it. 
you're roaming through the tower something here that is over it's done and um it's dark inside of the tower it's uncomfortable here and there's there is a light shining through a window here with with a hand on the end of it you know like a torch like come this way come this way and here you are the next card you have is the six of swords i see you going out of the tower here in the future energy and there's an angel on the front of this boat okay guiding you out into the sunlight Tell me why the Six of Swords is here. Judgment. This is final judgment that I'm done. I'm getting out of here. I'm. You could literally be moving, but you're getting out of the tower, Taurus. You have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, and you have the Ten of Wands. There, there's literally someone on the outside looking in, into the tower, trying to get your attention. They are having a hard time doing it with the Ten of Wands energy here. Um, but you have Temperance, Sagittarius energy and this, this can be a reconciliation. I just want to say that again for some of you guys with temperance and judgment showing up. But this is can be a reconciliation of a soul connection of someone here, a past life energy that is showing, like part of your soul tribe showing up in your energy. And judgment is here and temperance. So there's some type of reconciliation that is happening here. The next card you have is Strength. I think I told you guys that is Leo energy. Tell me why Strength is here. And when Strength shows up, it's Spirit's telling you, you have the strength to move on. All right? The Two of Wands is here, so there's this energy of feeling stuck, but looking way out into the future here for you, and not really sure which way to, to go, which future you vision for yourself. Tell me why strength is here. You have the Seven of Cups, and you have the Five of Swords. I see you receiving a message from someone here. Um, it's showing up in your future energy and this person, I see a very cold argument taking place. All right. With the five of swords and it's this devil energy showing up here again. So this, this fight with the devil, I see like there could be some back and forth energy of, um, talking again and then letting it go and then talking again and then letting it go like a repeated energy like that but i see you with the emperor energy um starting to rebuild a, things in a different way you're coming to an understanding that this is over tell me why the emperor is it here it's like you've had enough Tell me why the Emperor is here. Yeah, see, look. Something's over Scorpio energy. And there's, there's someone new here in your energy. And the Ace of Pentacles is there. There's that hand reaching into the tower telling you, come this way. All right? It's almost like this energy is coming in some type of way where of course it's not it's not like instant love you know like you're instantly in love with someone else this is someone that there's a new path a new journey here a new love of you falling in love and it feels so good in your energy 
tell me why the fool is here. The Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords and the Hermit. Justice, Libra energy. The Hermit is Virgo, Virgo energy, but I see here that you're letting go of someone here that seems to be a ghost. Someone that is in and out of your life. They're not always there. They they may say this is a they're in a committed relationship with you, but it's not, and you know it's not a committed relationship. They're there and then they're gone again. And so I see you standing up for yourself and pushing, letting this energy go with this final, this final argument here in the future. Tell me why the lovers are here. It's new love, Taurus, the Page of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. See, you're walking away from the Three of Pentacles. So you're walking away from something here that you were trying to build upon and um, you're dealing with a very selfish energy here with the nine of cups someone who um you know do we put the word narcissist on it it's like a i mean the five of swords the devil energy this is like very cold cold energy showing up here someone here that is taking for themselves where you've been in a state of confusion. Tell me why the Four of Cups is here. Yeah, see, there's a third party. There could be money involved here with this devil energy. And you could feel like this person's breadcrumbing you, ghosting you. They're, they're not always there. They say what you want to hear to, to keep you there. They say enough to keep you there. All right. And it's for a reason. It's for a purpose. And for a lot of you guys, this is financially with all the pentacles dropping through the energy here. But I love you guys, Taurus. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you um, for your donations to the channel. I appreciate you your help so much and thank you for um all the beautiful comments the messages you guys send me the healing energy that comes through those messages they're so powerful to me and you guys have such happiness in your forecast coming from a dark place coming from a feeling of loss hopelessness there is there's this new energy of feeling so free and wonderful and happy that is that is to come. All right, it's it's all here for you, Taurus. What you've been manifesting, that your ship is coming in. You just want to be happy, and what you've been manifesting, the ship is coming in. It's arriving. And it's like you can see it off in the distance with the Three of Wands. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me, Taurus. And we'll meet back here again tomorrow. Namaste.